Hey y'all, I'm Alex. Welcome to Soulmates to Georgia. Today I am down at the farm with my dad and we are going to be putting out some grass seed. We've got uh, some end of fight free fescue and some pearl millet. So fescue comes with a uh, fungus, an endophyte, that is not good for cows. They can eat some and tolerate it if there's a good enough mix of clover and other weedy grasses in there, but they'll perform even better with endophyte free fescue. It costs more, but the goal is to get the money back when we um, have bigger cows, healthier cows. And the uh, pearl millet is just another good forage to give them some variety, good for the soil and good for the cows. So stick around, I'll show you some of us, uh, some footage of us getting it out there. Our first step for the seed planting was this field here. It's about two acres. We call this our corral pasture because it has a corral in it. So we're clever that way. But we went through and we were gonna do it side by side at first. And we ended up um, doing like one loop that way, just a perimeter of us kind of near each other. We're trying to keep our distance at the same time. But then we decided to, I would keep doing lines up and down the, the pasture. And then my dad did perpendicular to me. So we figured that would cover uh, extra spots that way that one, you know, if, if I had a long strip one way, he would be able to cross it out the other way. I think that's gonna end up being, that's good. And then we're heading back to the big hill, Melvin's Hill on the back of the property. And we're gonna do it back there. And we're gonna, that's probably gonna be about eight acres we're aiming for if we do it right. This bridge, sturdy, but probably not strong enough to handle the tractor and the seed drill coming across it. We can get the tractor across it, but there are parts like this that have been patched up a little funny. I drove the tractor over yesterday and it was fine. Underneath it, I don't think I can get a picture of it. There is, there are two railroad ties that go under it, so it can support you, but it is, does have its limits. It's made of wood for the most part, on the top part at least. That's a better view. You can actually see the cross ties under there. So there are actually four of them, six of them. How did I not know that? We did the same thing back here on the hill. I went one direction, my dad went the other. The process was about as simple as it could be. We'd load up, or I'd load up the seed. We are trying to make sure my dad wasn't touching stuff that I touched. Uh, I'd load up the seed in both of our spreaders. And these are just garden spreaders that we use, or lawn spreaders that we use at our houses. There's my dad waving at us. Uh, but we've loaded them up and just push them till they're empty, refill them and go back. And uh, these guys in the cars over here, these are some of my college friends who wanted to get out of their houses and come for a visit. They are, you can see they're keeping their distance from each other, definitely keeping their distance from us, not helping us. But it was good to hang out with them and, and catch up uh, since we haven't seen many people in a while. And they were happy to get out and get some fresh air while we worked and laugh at us. We don't have an ATV or a four wheel or anything like that to put a seed spreader on the back of that. But we might have to invest in one. This was a lot more work than I anticipated. I ended up getting over 27,000 steps and it was a long, long day, but it felt good to, to get it all done. We timed it just before we had a good rain the next day, or the next night. So hopefully it all germinates and comes up over the next few days. Then my friends stuck around, we ended up uh, staying up there and having a beer together and watching the sunset before everybody took off. So it was a, a really good day overall, seeing some friends, getting some good work done. And uh, thank you all for watching. appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like this video.